This antique mall is called Cheap Frills and it's located in Newport, Oregon at the coast. And when you first walk in, there is instantly stuff, stuff, stuff. Um, there is so many spaces. Everything seems to be packed pretty tightly. When you first walk in, there is a lot of vintage, cute little items mixed in with newer items along the windows. Some items seem like they've been there for quite a while because the tags are a little bit faded or really faded where you can't even see the price. And then some tags you can see are um, just newly put on. It almost <laughs> kind of reminds me of a thrift store, the way some of the spaces um, are kind of organized or disorganized. But, you know, in antique malls like this, you can sometimes find the best deals when things are kind of organized like a thrift store. There were several spaces that had 50% off or 70% off. Um, this vendor here had spaces throughout the antique mall and all of, all of his items were 50% off. Some spaces of his were more organized than others. A lot of beautiful glassware, uh, very decent, decent prices. So if something was, you know, $50, you know, it was down to 25, very affordable. I wasn't able to get uh, a lot of glassware because we were kind of a tight fit in our car driving there and I didn't have a lot of space to, you know, pack things up into it. This space here had a lot of head vases, kind of remind me of Dee and all her head vases and a lot of the other channels that sell them. Some were reproductions, but some were originals. A lot of them did have some damage but they were so beautiful and there was a lot of beautiful glassware to artistic glassware as you can see all these different head vases mother of mary some unique items and as you can see they packed it in every single space was taken up there's a few little empty spots but and this clown freaked me out. It was hidden. I'm like, ooh, a scary cowboy clown. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, these shelves kind of reminded me of a estate sale or a garage sale or um, kind of old school thrift store. But some of the prices here were like garage sale prices. I mean, 50 cents, $2, $3. This again was the same vendor, 50% off. He has spaces all over. So I don't know if he was moving out or just trying to clear out inventory. But there was a lot of, there's a lot of beautiful pieces. Um, not a ton of antiques, more vintage items to newer items. This was a whole clown collection. <laughs> and I typically do not get clowns, but I did notice this mid-century piggy bank back here it was in the corner and it did have a little bit of damage these were like paper mache painted piggy banks that were given at fairs as prizes and there's all types of them animals characters and I had never seen this clown before and again a lot of these clowns were five dollars or less very decent prices I loved these mannequins. They were so old school. You have the beautiful woman in 80s wedding dress and this guy that looked like a girl, looked like a guy <laughs> dress. So funny. Again, more glassware mixed in with some Christmas still. You know, it's just so close to Christmas when I was shopping there. A lot of knickknacks. Yeah, and again, it's not some of the spaces weren't organized it was just all kind of mixed in this space had a lot of mid-century that was really fun that table was gorgeous now this vendor has 75 percent off oh some of the prices were so wonderful again um you know i was we're on a road trip so i couldn't buy a lot you will see what i did end up purchasing um, but the prices 
were amazing with 75% off and I'm not sure if they were doing that to move out or just clear out inventory. Here's some more art glass, some pottery, Mexican pottery in the corner there next to a Victorian lady. And then they had a whole entire clothing and jewelry area. I typically skip it because a lot of the stuff is overpriced over there. If you're at the coast, you'll see a lot of these glass balls and art glass bowls. And this is a Fenton piece. I can't remember how much this was. Oh, $26. Yes. Which is actually a decent, decent price for something like that. Hand painted shell. Nice an original art piece. Unique. This was a whole Christmas area. I was surprised there wasn't a ton of vintage Christmas, but I mean, that is hard to come by, but a lot of contemporary Christmas or 80s and above. But there's a whole Christmas area, and this is in the back of the corner. I think this is here year round. And who remembers Cabbage Patch dolls? Yep, original Cabbage Patch doll with original outfit. There's actually several in this antique mall. I don't typically sell Cabbage Patch dolls, and there are some that are worth a lot of money. This one in particular wasn't rare, so I didn't pick this one up. And I think they were selling $10, $12. Someone <laughs> made all these dolls into scary zombies, which I thought was pretty cool. And here is 1980s mask, a Fenton, beautiful Red Bull, some more unique pieces. This was a velvet painting of a Doberman pincher. <laughs> I like this glass stained picture of a cat. Here's a really cool jewelry box, mid-century, $24. Not a bad price. Some Pyrex, some mid-century pottery and pot, pan, plant, plant pots. That was a really unique Pyrex bowl and they wanted $54 for it. It came with the original lid. Some jewelry. A lot of figurines, a lot of Fenton. I noticed a lot of Fenton, a lot of green glass, depression glass, some sets. There's a Hager, $32. Uh, I thought it was a little spendy. That one was a little spendy. This is unique because usually you don't find the lids to these little dishes here. And it's only $10 but I don't really typically get the pink depression glass. Wood carved dragon, 85. This uh, booth was 20% off. So there was a lot of spaces that had sales. Beautiful Art Nouveau vase, mid-century. I don't think it was marked. Oh, here's a Kimball Deer. I've sold these. I've never seen one in white. Usually I see them brown or red. They had some beautiful dresses. This 1950s tool dress was $147, which I see was a little high because it's such a small size. It's going to be hard to sell, but it was beautiful. A lot of old bottles for collect collectors full section. There's that Christmas section again. <laughs> but things were kind of thrown around that section. You really have to dig in that area to find some goodies. So if you get overwhelmed with a lot of clutter, this was not the space for you. <laughs> but if you like to dig for treasures, then this would be a great space. Again, some of these tags were faded, so they had been here for a while. This whole shelf was filled with angels and Mother Mary's. More glassware. There's some people way, way, way down there. You probably can't even see them. They look like little ants. But it's not raining right now. It's a beautiful day. It's a couple days before Christmas. Oops, I almost stepped on a jellyfish. We're having a fun time in Newport, Oregon. Woohoo! Thank you so much and make sure to subscribe.